Now we will discuss general functions. Basically, while working with the select statement and the insertion, we have noticed like we may get a null value in a particular column of a table. So, if we retrieve and do any operation or if we perform any expression using a null value, the resultant will always be a null. For example, if I have a null value in the last name column and if I concatenate that last name with the first name, the full name will always be a null. So, obviously, we will not get the actual value, we will not get the correct result in that case. So, using the general functions, we will see how can we deal with the null values with the functions under this. So, let's execute all the general functions practically. So, let's get started with the general functions and basically here, we will deal with the null values. Basically, whenever we will get any null value in a select statement and if we start processing that particular value in any expression, the resultant will always be a null. For example, if I have a couple of columns like first name and last name and maybe in case of some employees, the last name is null and I want to get a full name for the employee in which I will concatenate the first name with the last name, the result for all those employees having last name as null, the full name will also come as null, which is not a good idea. So, we will try to substitute that null value with any other value so that we can get the proper output. For example, we'll write a simple statement here like select first name, salary, commission PCT, in which uh, the commission percentage of each employee is specified from employees all right and here you can observe like for some employees they are getting the salary as well as commission but for some employees it's only salary that they are getting without any commission so in such employees what i'll do if i'll try to get the complete salary like let's write in uh, write an expression here so salary plus salary into commission PCT as in hand salary all right from employees so here you can observe in the output like for all those employees who are getting the commission they are actually getting some in hand salary but for other employees for rest of the employees they are not getting anything in hand salary why because whenever you will make an expression with a null value the overall expression will return you a null and obviously uh, you cannot d do any processing with a null value so here in this particular example what i'll try to do is i'll try to substitute that null value given by the commission pct with some other value so for that I will use the NVL function and this NVL function will take a couple of arguments here. The first argument will be the column which you want to compare, which you want to check. Like basically an NVL function will return the first not null value. If this particular column is returning a not null value, then this value will be returned. But if the first argument is returning a null value, then in that case, the second argument will be returned. So, for all those employees who are getting a null commission, it will not return you the null, but it will return a zero. So, when zero will get multiplied with a salary, the so, uh, product will be a zero, and zero will be added to a salary, means at least you are getting the salary. All right. Make sure both the arguments in this particular method are of same data type. Since the commission PCT is of numeric data type, I used zero. All right. Now from employees, you can see all the employees are getting the salary. In case all the for all those employees who are not uh, getting any commission, the salary and in hand salary is same. But for the others, you can see there is a difference. All right. So this is how you can use the NVL function for substituting a null value with some other logical value. Let's check out some more version of this NVL method that is NVL2. So again, I'll come to this particular uh, query and I'll make some changes here. Here, I'll go for NVL2, which will take three arguments. The first argument will be checked, means whether that particular argument is null or not. If the first argument is not null, means 
the second parameter will be returned means salary plus commission all right but if the first argument is a null then the third parameter will be returned all right in this one make sure the second and third argument are of same data type all right so let's give an alias such as status or maybe anything all right from employees all right so let's execute it now and here you can see for all those who are getting this commission the salaries commission is there in the output but for the rest only sal is there in the output all right so this is how you can go for the nvl and nvl2 methods the functions which will be dealing with the uh, null values similarly you do have one more method called coles so again i will go for the same one uh, for this again coles can take any number of arguments coles can uh, means you can pass any number of arguments in the coles function it will return you the first not null value all right so like commission pct then a salary if it's not a salary then 5000 that's a fixed amount all right so as you can see coles it's taking three argument if you want you can pass even more arguments if this one is not null then commission will be returned if commission is null then salary will be returned but if salary is also null which is not true in this particular case then you will get 5000 all right so let's see all right so here you can see like for all those who are getting the commission the commission is returned but for the rest the salary is returned if there is any employee you can add an employee with the null salary you can see that in that particular record you will find 5000 so this is all about the general functions using which you can deal with the null values